Dragon, I'm the ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, Dragon Snips, and today is another squishy makeover. Now last time we did another squishy makeover was these two actually. Yep, these are the last two squishy that we did for an episode called Fix and Finish episode. Now, it wasn't technically a squishy episode, it was more of an episode where I take a project that I started a long time ago and like finish it or fix that project that broke on me and I wanted to fix it because I really don't have the time to either finish a project or fix it. And these, if you haven't seen that video, um, I started it for another series that I was doing and I lost the footage so I decided to put these in a fix and finish episode. Which I might be doing another fix and finish episode later in the future. And actually talk about what we're doing today. So I found this squishy off of eBay and I wanted to turn it into a specific character that I did a long time ago. So why don't we go over to my art decks and start making a new squishy today. You know this by now, so let's get this over with. My editing style is based on both Mariah Elizabeth and Graveyard Loon. Okay, that's done. Anyways, let's get into the video. So now it's time to get into the... wait, what is this? Is the video good in here? Okay, so here is the real scene where I pull out the squishy, which I don't know if that made any sense. This is a very cute kitty squishy that I found on Amazon. No, wrong, I found it on eBay. I really like this squishy, which is why I'm going to destroy Draw it. Yet. But first I need this. But before we get started, I just wanted to say this. Am I the only person that hates slow rising squishy? I really hate slow rising squishy. I don't know why. But I find the fast rising squishy way more fun to play with than the slow rising one. I feel like I'm the only person in the entire world that hates slow rising squishy. Anyway, despite hating slow rising squishies, I do like how soft the squishy is. Which is the downside of these squishy makeover? They lose the softness after the paint goes onto it. But besides that, I did have fun playing with it before, before destroying, destroying it. it. I'm grabbing out the small bag full of squishy parts and I place the giant squishy ball part into the bag. Okay, that was a huge waste of time to have that out. Once the part is gone, it's time to bring out the scissors to demolish the squishy. I have to apologize to those ears. As much as I really like them, they need to go. I'm really sorry. I trimmed the edge off of the foam after cutting off those cute little ears off, and this took a while. Every single cut of the foam took so much time. Every single painful cut on the foam. Every single slice. A slice of tears coming down my face as I painfully made those cuts. But that wasn't the end of my pain. Removing the fabric out of the camera frame, either throwing them away or placing them into the bag. Now it's time to cut off that cute little mouth on this squishy. So sad. Then the tail of this cat. Well, no longer a cat. This is no longer a cat, guys. It's going to be something else. Something more scary. At least the legs and the hands are just a rounded shape, so I don't have to worry about them. Not a single bit. Not a single tiny little dragon tear. I don't know what I'm saying. Shut up about it. Now I need to get rid of that bow tie the not cat had on him. Because I don't need that anymore. Now that everything is gone and smoothed out, well, as smooth as I can possibly can get, I think it's time to sand this baby down. No way, never mind. It's time to fix the back of the head. I don't even sand this guy down. Forgot to sand him down. Oh well. So I went ahead and added a few scrap of foam to the back of the head as I used my hot glue on the squishy. I even added a scrap of foam to this hole in the hand on this squishy. Now I could go ahead and trim down the fabric on the squishy just to get a pretty smooth head. Which doesn't really turn out like that. I did my best, guys. Now it's time to bring out the fabric paint. Nice. Or in this case, slick paint. Or puffy paint, if you want to call it that. And I'm going to just slab that down onto the squishy. Yes, that's good. And this took forever to do, guys. I mean, forever. Thankfully, you guys don't have to experience the pain I went through just for this video. So we can just jump to the painting process. 
Now it's time to add the white fabric paint on this guy, just to get a general base coat on this guy. So here is the first layer of this guy, and now here he is with many layer later. And both sides are done with base color. Now it's time to get creating. And I think you gotta try to take this moment to figure out what I'm turning this guy into. If you haven't figured it out by the title of the video or the thumbnail of this video, I'm turning this guy into my character named Mr. Happy. Which is why we had to get rid of all the animal-like feature on this guy. Mr. Happy isn't a cat. He's a monster. Now, of course, you probably already saw me pulling out the container full of fabric paint. And already seen me putting a brown color on this guy. But you haven't seen anything yet from me yet. But what you haven't seen yet is me changing the color of the paint. Because I don't like the color that I'm putting on the squishy. So I'm going to change that now. There we go. Now I'm going to be adding a new color onto the squishy. And there's one tiny, inky little problem here. I don't like it. So I need to mix in the new color and add in the new color. There, now he has a new color. Hopefully there won't be any more changes to this guy. Wait, what's going on? Why is this green half squishy ball back? And why can't we see anything? I got this part, and I need to add the cheeks on this guy. But before we add the cheeks of Mr. Happy, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure it goes from the black color to a gray color. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and hit all notifications. Also, don't forget to check out my social media and store. Links are in the description or on the channel arc above. Anyways, so I quickly added the cheeks onto the face of this guy, and then added puppy paint just to cover up those edges. And I put so many layers of puppy paint on this guy, the many layers of puppy paint I did off camera. That way you guys are not sitting through the paint I had to went through. Heck, I even add more layers of puppy paint on this guy off camera, so that way you guys don't have to watch the suffering I have to go through. So now after adding so many layers of puppy paint onto this guy, and adding the base coat on this guy off camera, I went ahead and added a brand new color to this guy. Again, I mixed a new color. Thankfully, no changes to the skin color anymore after this. So I'm just layering this color on this guy on the front of the squishy. And oh look, it's magic! Backside is painted as well. Let's go ahead and sketch out the face on this guy. I don't use the pencil. I tried to, but it didn't work. So I use the fabric marker pen here, just to sketch out show his face. So once his face is sketched out, I mix some colors together to paint in his teeth and the eyes. Once I had placed a layer of yellow and blue color to the head of the creature, with the eyes and the teeth, I had mixed another color off camera and then painted the bottom half of the squishy with a reddish blood color. And just to make sure the bottom half is covered with that color, I actually added multiple layers on each color on the squishy, using my dotting tool here. I added the yellow to the teeth, blue to the eyes, and red to the body. I did this for a long time. I went to the moon and back with this process. I wanted to make sure the color is added and hidden the black line. I used a smaller dotting tool for the teeth again, and this time with a different color. I wanted to blend the bottom color with the top color, and this part was really fun to do. The color mixed really well in the end. I only had to mix these colors once and it mixed really well. I don't know what I'm saying. I even mixed the bottom and top colors on the back of the squishy. Now with a small dotting tool, I use a bit of a darker skin color for some of the detail on the face, like the nose and the mini, mini, so many wrinkle texture on the face. There were so many wrinkle texture on the face. Around the eyes, around the nose, the forehead, heck, even around the cheeks and under the lips of the creature. There was so many wrinkle texture on this guy. And this took a while to do, because I had to add so many wrinkles. I added the white shine on the eyes of the creature with, once again, a dotting tool. And now it's time to add more wrinkles. Again. Like, so many wrinkles again. I'm seeing wrinkles in my dream. There's so many of them. I can't keep up with how many wrinkles I'm adding to this guy. I'm going to save with the amount of wrinkles I'm adding. Oh, thank goodness. I'm out of wrinkle hell. Now it's time to add more puffy paint. Wait, what? No. I'm using the puffy paint, which is a brown color, and adding some detail to the stomach of the monster. But I went ahead and used the black puffy paint for the keys. I even used the black puffy paint around the eyes and around some of the wrinkle details. Back with the wrinkles again. Can't get away from it. I grabbed a white puffy paint and added some more shines around the wrinkles. Again with the wrinkles. And I added the white on the teeth as well. And off camera, I added pink and blue around the mouth because I wanted to make it look more gross. That's what I wanted. 
which I like it. But that is the end of the video, guys. Let's go ahead and check out the monster of this monster. Let's go. This little guy. Isn't he creepy? I had a lot of fun turning uh, a cat squishy. Yeah, a cat squishy into Mr. Happy. That's his name actually. Mr. Happy is a horrible looking monster, but I absolutely love how he turned out. But I'm gonna put Mr. Happy away. Probably for the best. <laughs> And I'm going to close this video out for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check this video out over here, go ahead. And don't forget to hit see this video over here. This is last week's video. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, dragons! Oh, gotta be kidding me. I guess we are going on. What's wrong with me? I just feel way pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day.